The choice for mankind lies between freedom and happiness, and for the great bulk of mankind, happiness is better. George Orwell. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Ruby here, and today I am bringing you a brand new series. Today I am bringing you Orwell. Obviously named after the uh, the famous or author, George Orwell, the, um, the author of uh, the acclaimed book 1984. We're going to jump in and see what this game is all about. So first it's asking us to create a profile, which I will create. Enter my name. My name is uh, the Sergeant Mubi. And we will have this guy. This is the only one with a beard. Next up. Sergeant Ruby at Hotmail. So, okay. Next up. Uh, I am aware that my actions ha may severely impact the lives of the citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my behalf. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. I agree to the terms stated above. Here we go. Delving deep into the world of Orwell. I'm assuming it is going to be somewhat 1984-ish. From what I saw on the, on the Steam, Steam page, it looked very... Uh, very 1984 ish. So we have people. I'm assuming they're people. They are people. Having a look, seeing who we can see. No one seems to have a record. Clearly looking for the uh, the undesirables of, of civilization. Hey there, friend. She has glasses. She is clearly the one we are looking for. So, she might be the one we are after. Not 100% sure what's going on. Oh, undesirables. Have them PDAs. Damn! Okay. So she was clearly a terrorist. As opening sequences go, it's a little bit weird. Episode 1 The clocks were striking 13. You're online. Good. Call me Sims. I'll be your advisor on Orwell. Together, we will form the, both the first and the last line of defence against terrorism. For this test phase, for this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order. As you can see from the footage, there's been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there's new information to be investigated. First, I want, to, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Okay. Headlines. On a, ooh, feel free to browse The National Beholder I've activated the profile. Open the unknown person's file when you're done. Okay. So, this is what we saw in the opening uh, opening cutscene. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Negotiations in Triflith have failed. Movie shooting complete. 100 Grey Shadows. Valentine's Day 2018. Okay. Uh, so let's read more about this. Um, basically, it's just explaining 
what happened during that uh, during the opening cutscene. So yeah, killed three people. It's not very good, is it? The profiler holds all the information on those we investigate. The file you open is on our main suspect. The blue-haired woman from that CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Ah, there we go. Her name is Cassandra Watergate. Mm. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into the profile to upload them to our servers. Okay, so this is her name. Yep, this is her name. That's not it. Uh, she was arrested for assaulting a police officer. Um, struck by an un unknown uh, object, came unresponsive. Processor, the that's her photo as well. Very good. Pictures and names are cru crucial information for a while to identify a person. Information and documents can only be a data chunk when it is clear clearly to be, be when it can be clearly assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this information to progress. Let me do this. It's very Papers, Please-esque. Good. With the date you extracted from the police record, a new document can be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. I find data revealing where... I find data revealing where she attacked the police officer. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer, and you'll see what I mean. Good. Um, so, this is a charge of an assault on a police officer, which I have here. Um, Boston Central PD. Okay. Um, New portraits. Yeah, new mugshot by the looks of him, Uh The origin of salt protest protesters um, kneeling and weeping on the ground. The suspect cooperated, cooperated immediately. Strange. Uh, injured a police officer two weeks ago. There we are. Incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza, part of a demonstration. Not doing this. The exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know exactly who we're dealing with. Right. I think it is time to go find more information on uh, on Miss Watergate. She's an artist. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance. Well, great, you found another document. Before we can carry go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate, starting now and going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators, and we will draw conclu conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on the data chunk if you do not want to pass it on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Okay. 
Let's see. So there's new stuff. Obviously, the uh, the star means there's new stuff. Cassandra Watergate. We've got a new photo there. Um. Hmm. I don't really think that's relevant. A colourful inhabitant of Wonderland behind the right behind the rainbow. Why not? Let's upload this. Yeah, see? We should find out what job she was doing. Uh, we need that as well. Good. Found a chat handle. Bang in. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear when they have started. Um, so she's got a cat. The Businessman's Forgotten Daughter. Interesting. Daughter of Entrepreneurs. See? She's married. Uh, yep. So that's relevant. She And the cat is not relevant. Right, let's just see what happens if I put this in here. So we're under the impression that our, our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland. Somehow I doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? We'll, we'll call careful on that next time. Yep, that's fine. Then we go into the listener. Recording session has started. There we go. His name's Jossie. Oh, she's a she's a, f a fan of Arthur Conan Doyle. Yep. Platinum card. Okay, so we know the first name is Jossie. There we go. Joseph Langley. Yep. So the lawyer's credit card. Done. No, really. No need to thank for me, Mr. Langley. Uh, now have a profile for a related person. Be active on the profiler. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And as this is the first episode, we will try and keep it uh, relatively short. However. Uh, there's probably a lot of stuff we need to need to get through. Yep. So her parents work in Watergate Farmer Entrepreneurs. It does ring a bell, as as you mention it. Okay, so the session's closed. Let's have a little look through. Uh, there's nothing there that we can use anymore. Nothing that's jumped out at us anyway. Uh, so let's go back to here. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. So if we... Um, here we go. So, her dad is Bruno Watergate. Dr. Alice Watergate is her mum. Cassandra Watergate, junior COO. Hmm. Probably by one of her parents, yep. And Junior CIO? She did. She has been mentioning a lot about being a Junior CIO. Keeping it a family affair, exactly. I like slime. The Sims. Um, documents who have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events, events unfold. The reader will notify you if that happens. The National Beholder just published an article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. Uh, yes, there are headlines here. <laughs> Crime rate continues to drop. 
All right then. What's the safety bell? Oh, I see. So this is the kind of stuff that's introduced in in the trailer. Let's go back. Yeah, there's no real new information, is there? Have a look. New information. Rob Blaine. I don't think there's anyone here of any interest at the moment. Manipulation suspicions. Joseph Langley, there he is. There's the friendo. The show is conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will be invalid immediately. I recommend that you clarify the context of the com context of the conflict before you proceed. Though this is your decision. Once the information has been passed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Okay. Uh, Cassandra Watergate was acquitted of the alleged assault against the police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed to a lack of evidence. Hmm. What's the conflict? Show me the conflict. Oh, okay. I see. So... We've actually got to work out, within the context of this article, whether or not these two things conflict. Which they obviously do, because the case is being closed due to a lack of evidence. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim, they expressed disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favour. Um, yeah. So, what do we think? I think this... Um, case being closed due to the lack of evidence. That's what I figured. CCTV didn't, they didn't actually help. Maybe it will today. Maybe it will indeed, sir. Nothing going on there. Let's have a look through more of this stuff. Uh, products. I don't think there'll be anything here that we can, uh, we can have a look at. Company. Yeah, more just trivial stuff there. Uh, crime rate continues to drop. Uh, there's nothing there that we can do with that. Projects. Participate. Uh, becoming a member. The Army of the Nation. A bit ominous, isn't it? Headlines. Have a look. Let's have a look at this little piece of info. Nothing in there that we can use. Um, so, if we go back to um, So this is Joseph Langley. Okay, so these are our objective. Find the info on uh, the previous job Cassandra mentioned she quit. Okay. It's nice that they have uh, they have that. So if we can find out where she was working previously, we will be able to find a uh, company. Ah. Here we go. So, she left as a COO. We were in the right place all along, actually. But, um, nothing stays in the family. Ouch. Yep. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. Currently, I'm thinking that Miss Watergate underwent a radical change. Don't you agree? I do as a happy sims. Let's find out what happened in between those two... In between these two lives of hers. What, have what may have caused this radical shift 